So it's Shalila here, Crowd Fellow from Lower Alabama, here to give you an update on what's going on in redistricting here in the city of Mobile and possibly the surrounding areas. So right now, we still have proposed maps from the mayor's office. And right now, the maps that are being presented are in draft form. So originally, the map that was seen by the public or the city officials was 2.3. We are now in version 2.5. They are uploading the draft maps on the city's website. So you are able to take a look and see where the current lines are, where the new lines will be. And so um, I testified this past Tuesday um, at the city council on advocating for a fourth majority black district and a fourth majority black district is present and the mayor's new plans. The issue is the black voting age population is currently the, the 2.5 map has it around 48%, but we want a black voting age population that is well over 50, honestly 55% would be more secure. And so I advocated on that. Um, the new map has some packing and two of the other black districts while one of the other black districts is losing black population. So our district one and three is somewhat packed with black voters in district two which is the district where we have a lot of gentrification going on where black people are being pushed out the district and pushed west their black number is severely low and so at the city council meeting i advocated for district one and three to possibly give up some of their black people to help out district two and so we are just still in that negotiation process our city council they're working together on moving lines and balancing things and the mayor has don't quote me i don't remember the, the date exactly but what i'm tracking right now is it happens to february february 18th to present the final product of the map and from there the city council has six months to approve the mayor's map or present another map that they will vote on that could possibly be signed into law Additionally, the mayor's team did have a virtual town hall via Facebook Live where it was an education opportunity for the public to understand what redistricting is. And that presentation should still be on their Facebook page right now if you were not able to watch it live. Additionally, there will be redistricting meetings held in all seven of the city council districts starting on January 31st. And from there, there's about one meeting per day. So go on the city page and look for those redistricting dates, attend the redistricting meetings in your community. And if you're not able to attend the one in your community, consider attending a redistricting meeting in one of the other districts so that you can just be informed and be aware on what's going on. Additionally, just overall in the state of Alabama, um, there were three lawsuits where the Secretary of State was being sued for our state congressional map. The map that was signed into law only possessed one majority minority district, so only one majority black district, which, which is District 7, when the population of Alabama is 27% black, so we should have two majority black districts. And so the federal court struck down our congressional map and told them that y'all need to redraw y'all congressional map for the second majority minority district. I'm hoping for that second district to be the Mobile area, the Black Belt and Montgomery, so that we could possibly have a black or a democratic representative down here in Lower Alabama representing us in Congress. Um, the state has appealed the decision and the case is also going to the Supreme Court. So there are a lot of moving pieces going on right now. Um, existing challenges and hurdles would be just trying to balance the maps. You know, we're advocating for that fourth district while also understanding it can be tough with your population spread out. So we had the closing of three major black housing projects in District 2 in Mobile, and they received vouchers, but nobody was really accepting them in the predominantly um, districts that are already black. So a lot of our black citizens from that district have been pushed west, and some of them are outside the city limits. So when it comes to trying to find those people that used to be, those black people that used to be inside the city of Mobile that are now outside of Mobile, there's some issues um, with trying to get that 
solid fourth majority black district. And so the hurdles and what will be coming up after the maps are approved or maybe even soon because it was in our mayor's 100 day plan is annexation, extending our city boundaries. And we might be able to possibly bring in some of those black people that left or that were pushed out of the city. So that's our challenge right now, trying to find our numbers and, you know, make everybody happy and make sure everything is fair and equitable. So it's been a little spicy down here. We have our city councilman from District 2, William Carroll. He has been a strong advocate since taking a seat, advocating for that fourth majority black district because with Mobile being 51% African-American and three seats on the council being black, we don't know how long the African-American population has been underrepresented. So Councilman Carroll has been a strong advocate for that fourth majority black district. He's been the loudest. And, and advocating for that district to have a black voting age population that's over 50%. We've had some of our council members, the council member from District 6 recently took the seat and he was adamant on when we're drawing these maps, why is it necessary for us to be discussing race? And, you know, we've had to elaborate to him and, and, and bring to his attention that, you know, we want to make sure the black vote isn't diluted. So we've had some issues, you know, people advocating for the district, other, other councilmen saying that, you know, we shouldn't discuss race when we're drawing it. So um, it's been very interesting, um, but the people will be sure to hold the leaders who are responsible for drawing these maps accountable. I would want you to just, like I stated earlier, consider attending these local community meetings that each district is having concerning redistricting. If you don't even know what it is, what I talk about, you're clueless, you know, it's a good starting point. Also, watch the city council meetings on the City of Mobile YouTube account. You know, the meetings are held during working hours at 10.30 a.m. on Tuesday, so a lot of people can attend because we are working. But you can watch it streaming live or you can watch it later on. So yeah, you're in the, in the know of what's going on in our city. Um, so once again, be involved. And if you want to reach out to me, feel free to engage me on social media or via email. I look forward to updating y'all in the future. Hopefully we made some progress by the next video. And so, once again, this is Shalila Dowdy giving you your bi-weekly update on redistricting. Thanks for tuning in. Please tune in for our future videos because we would like to keep you all informed so that you know what's going on in your local areas.